Hey everyone, I'm going to take you on a little tour of um, my bedroom sanctuary. Me and Mr. Empath's bedroom sanctuary because a couple people were asking some questions about um, some of the things we have in our room. So I'm going to show you. So I just came out of the bathroom area. This is on one of our walls. This is a Celtic tapestry and it's got four fairies and they're braiding each other's hair. So you can see. And then on the outside there's the leaves. And then there's a little male fairy watching the women braiding their hair with a happy expression on his face. <laughs> we love this. So, and then we have the fishies, and I'm going to show you because we have a baby one in here, and I bet you he's big enough to see. Let me see if I can find him. Let's see, where is he? In there. There he is. Nope, that wasn't the baby. Shoot. Let's see if I can find him. I bet he's in the cave. Oh, no, there he is. Look at our baby one, you guys. Isn't he cute? He's actually big enough to see now. You can see he's like half the size of a tetra. Yup, yup. There was only one, so probably we got rid of the Pictus catfish, but when we had him, he probably ate most of the eggs or the fry. But this one little baby lived. So cute. So his mommy and daddy are those ones right there. Oh no, not those. This one. These darker mollies. This one. Yeah, like these red mollies. They have like little red lipstick on. You are curious about the camera, aren't you, little one? Yeah. Can't really see their black lipstick too well, but really cute. Anyway, yeah, so the bright orange, the darker orange ones are the parents of the little baby one. So this kind right there, I think they're called, what is it, Sunset Wag? Or, I'm not sure, like, I have to look it up, but we've got platies and mollies, and I always get them confused, but I think this is a molly. If you're a fish person, then come tell us. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. And then we have over here, um, see, this is like, here's the door. So the tapestry is like, if you were coming in the bedroom, the tapestry is on the right wall. And then on the left, we have the mirror and the fish. And my our dresser is down there. And then we've got the HDTV, which um, miss, my mother-in-law got us because our one downstairs had died. And we decided to put the HD one up here. Then we have Mr. Empath's Manchester United sign. One year for Yule, I got him all different Manchester United things. This is his bookshelf, and he has the mug, too. He's a huge fan. With the cable box and the Blu-ray player and um, the little U of U thing. That's where he went to school, and his diploma is up there, too, with his degree in film. So then his little netbook, and he got these really cute baby mice look how little this is you guys isn't that cute and it's got a retractable cord it's real cool he got me one too but i like the navigation bar better so then we have a little window up there which we love it's nice it's a small window so you can leave it open at night get nice fresh air and it's also very high up on an outside wall so new ones to come in who's meowing is that you blow me Come on, Paloma. <clears throat> Is that Paloma? No, that was Lana. That was Lana. Come say hi. Hi. Mew. Yeah. Lana. Hi, gorgeous. How are you? She says, I want to be in all the videos all the time. <clears throat> she heard me talking, so she came running. Yes, dear. I love you. Yes. And this is our spare bed. 
when gothic beauty comes to stay this is her bed over there it's actually um it's the trundle bed that goes under we have a, a day bed but my mom's sleeping on the day bed and we keep the trundle bed in here for gothic beauty or when colonel empath comes that's my hubby's brother and then we have our back porch and the chair out there to sit in there's paloma say hi paloma that was lana meowing hey paloma this is mr empath's very old kitty poor baby she's getting real old now and look you guys look how green and gorgeous here i'll take you out check this out it's cold i'm not gonna stay out long but Remember that plum tree from the other day? It's all full and blossomed now. And the buds on the ash tree are getting bigger. And the plum tree's getting leaves already. And the other ash tree's budding. And the budding starting on the cottonwoods, and I forget what species that one is. And these are the trees over there. They're already getting greener. And the lilacs over there, and my neighbor's property are starting and it's really cold so I'm going back inside <laughs> and this is like my IV supplies over here in that box and keep them right there because they're near the bathroom and it's easy to do them there and then okay so this is our bed and we have a tree of life blanket on there I don't know if you could see in the design but all the fruits are at the top my coat and my my and my my's Betty. Hi, my my, sweet girl. Yeah. Okay, and then um, we have our candle fixtures up there. Let's see if I can show you. These are really pretty. Hi, Paloma. Hi, baby. She's making cozy on my coat. Aren't these cool candelabra things? I love them. And then this is our um. Our Wiccan, I don't know what you call a wreath, I guess, that um, Mr. Or no, Colonel Empath got for us. He also got us the cool pentagram um, chime that's in the window down there in the kitchen. So we have that, and I have a candle on my side, and my nightstand, and my table. Printer stand, and then this, I love this candle fixture. Isn't that so cool? And this is our altar. It's actually still set up for in bulk, which is why it's green. Um, if you're not familiar, um, in bulk is, is um, celebrating the mother waking up. You know, spring coming. And you go out and see buds on the trees and make honey cake and this is like a really big day for me because I have seasonal affective disorder and winter is so so hard so in bulk is like the beginning of good things and then I have this garland that Mr. Empath got for me at the Renaissance Festival this past year isn't that pretty and this hen lamp this is from my um, sister-in-law who's now passed away she collected a lot of a lot of things and this lamp um colonel empath gave us and we have our candles and um chalice that represents the divine feminine and athame represents um the divine masculine and this rock here is from my paternal grandmother's grave i wasn't able to go um to the funeral because of my health but my sister brought that back for me. And this is my baby blanket from when I was a little baby. And we still have it. I love that. And then I have my dream catcher over there. I don't remember who got that for us. And these are my little fairy star earrings. They're like the PS star. Isn't that cute? And this is a little, um, like a good luck charm, I guess. It's a little turtle. 
that uh, Mr. Empath got me at one of my hospital stays. I can't remember which one right now. This Winnie the Pooh is like really, really special. Um, Mr. Empath got him when he was like five years old. And there's a really cute story with it. Um, they were in Sears Roebuck one day, I guess, him and his mom. And Mr. Empath saw the bear and he said he was crying when they left the store. And his mom said, why are you crying? And he said, because Winnie the Pooh looked so sad and left in there such a cute story so his mom there was nothing else to do she had to go in and buy it for him and this is something that he bought for me this is a fairy mama with her baby so we have this for isn't that beautiful Let's see if I can and the detail is just exquisite I'm not sure where my camera's not showing it too well, but I love this. And she's on the moon. So part of this is, you know, directing conscious thought toward what you're wanting. And of course, we're wanting a baby. So I have my fertility oil. And this is a picture of Mr. Empath. I think it had to have been one. High school graduation, I think. I don't think it was middle school. This, oops. This is actually an Australian god symbol, and um, Mr. Empath made this. Then I have my little baby, stuffed baby toy. Mama's blessing, that's what we're hoping for. And then we have, again, the divine masculine represented with the sun and the Celtic um, triskel symbol that Mr. Empath made. And we used to have, I don't know where it went now, a sticker that says, I love you with all my kidney. And it's for like, because Mr. Empath has a kidney transplant. And this they found for me over at the gas station. It's called Fancy Henny. And I always call my hens hennies, so it was really cute. Thank God that for me isn't she cute. And then, um, this. This is my first pacemaker. This kept me alive for 98. So seven years, this was my heartbeat machine thing. <laughs> and the leads plug in there. One goes to the top of the heart. And one goes to the bottom. That's how they work. I'm on my second one now. And then this, when I got my hair cut, I was going to donate this to Locks of Love because I thought it was like a charity type group. That's kind of how they represent. But then I learned they actually charge the patients for the hair, and that really upset me. So I'm still looking to find another organization that's not going to charge people who could use some hair. So, that's our little altar. And then, um, all my shoes and another pet bed. Back porch. Coming back into the bathroom area now. I got my mirror over here. And all my clothes, and I've got too many. <laughs> the towels. Usually Lana sleeps up there. She back up there, yep. She's back up there. <laughs> Cute little Lana. And our bathroom, and I love this. This is a, this has, a, like, jacuzzi jets in it. She likes soaking salts and candles, and it's so relaxing. And I love the little window. It's so cute. In summer, all you'll see is leaves. And in winter, like in November, the full moon in November comes through there, and it's just gorgeous. And then just a plain old shower, and a Plain old toity in my sharps container. Laundry that needs done. Kitty litter box. So that's pretty much it. You guys have had the full tour now. Talk to you later. Bye.